Today I'm at the beautiful Monarch Beach Golf Link. I'm so excited to play this course and we have some beautiful ocean views to see. Let's go check it out. This course is right on the ocean and it has absolutely amazing views. The setup behind the pro shop is the perfect space for events. Califino was there to welcome us with some delicious drinks before the tournament. And then we headed over to our shotgun tea box where Titleist was doing a ball fitting. And this was a really neat experience. I was fit for a ball with a little more spin to it and I was able to take a few to sample for the day, which was pretty convenient too because this course is dangerous with a lot of different hazards. We played in a scramble format and my team was super fun. Stay tuned as we see more of their shots when we play the signature holes of one, two, and three. One of my favorite things about this course was the drive in between holes. The cart path was just a scenic route on its own. And there are a few spots where it felt like I was on a roller coaster. The halfway house at Monarch Beach Golf Links is called Monarch Cafe and it is adorable. They also had a large menu with delicious food. I honestly wanted to go back on a different day and just go to the cafe on its own. Because of how cute the cafe is and the nice little seating area in front of the cafe with a beautiful view. My favorite hole on the course is the signature hole three, which you'll see at the end of the video. There were several other gorgeous holes like hole 13 with this beautiful pond and bridge to walk over to get to the green. Hole 17 and 18 were of course also stunning and it seemed like everywhere you looked there was a nice view but today I want to feature our scramble playing holes one two and three because these holes house some signature views that this course is known for so this is hole one the pro shop is right behind us to the left this is a straightforward par four Sophia bombed a drive out there which was pretty typical for her during this round there are some bunkers in play, but we had some great drives and we were able to clear those bunkers with no worries at all. I found out really quickly during the round that I needed to work on my approach shots, like 100 yards in. There were several traps around the greens and I had to be strategic, but thankfully it was a scramble and my team was on it on placing the ball close to the hole. Oh, oh, so on the river. <laughs> I thought that was going to be good. That was really That's close. a great line. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes! Oh! There we go. Oh, yeah, we're... 30's all over. Now we're on to hole two, which puts a dog leg to the left, par four, and about 400 yards long. And of course, once again, another gorgeous view. To the right, you can see the pro shop and the Waldorf Astoria Resort. Now at this point in the round, we're doing pretty well, but we still wanna go for it and try to get the lowest score. So we're all cutting this corner. Wow. Just like that. You're gonna go harder. Okay. That's pretty solid. That I love really that. Good. That's really good. I'm gonna hit this three iron because it's fun. It's <laughs> James loves the three iron today. I'm falling in love with the three iron. Oh my gosh, I wanna get a close up of that three iron. I mean, it looks sick. Right? Yeah. That's that's pretty. And it's sick. so fun to hit when you hit it good. Yeah, it's impressive to be able to hit a three iron well. Thank You've you. been doing it. You're gonna jinx me. No. <laughs> Yeah. Even though we were playing well and trying our best, we still took time to film content and James and Sophia had a funny video idea that they filmed on the tee box as well. Links to their sites are below so that way you can look at the content that they filmed. And now we're back to that approach shot that's less than 100 yards and my nemesis for the day. Once again, my team stepped up and Patrick stuck one so close to the pin, we thought it went in. Should have went in. It looks like it's right next to it, but it could just be like in front of it. could also be 40 feet away. Yeah. It looks like it. It was online though. It was good. It was, it was a little slapper. Once we were up by the green, we still had a little bit of a putt to make. Get there, get there, get there. And I ended up breaking the number one rule on a scramble, never leave the ball short. Thankfully, Alyssa stepped up and got the job done. 
Now it's the moment we've all been waiting for, taking a look at hole three at Monarch Beach Golf Links. Okay, so far we're doing so many birdies. We've already one, two, and now we're on to three, which I've heard is the most scenic hole on this course. The lighting is perfect. I'm so excited to see it. Oh, I love these tunnels. Gosh, look how gorgeous this is. Every hole, it kind of feels like I'm on a little bit of a roller coaster in these cars. Like it's meant to be part of the experience. It is a scenic drive to get down to hole three, but what I love about this is that there's also a trail from the resort to the end of the hole, so that way people can see the beautiful views, even if you're not playing golf. Patrick is going for it. And this hole is also a dog leg to the left. Of course, we're just trying to fly oh, it nice. over those bungers. It's so hot. It's a very beautiful Yeah, shot. it'll be perfect for us to keep it in play. For the bunker. Cool, we're good. Yep, nice. Yeah, it's nice like the button. Right. We're going to cut this corner here and try to hit it off of the green. It's now this is flying green, so it's going to go to A. <laughs> we're going to go right over the, the tree, oh. actually. Okay. You guys want to come through? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Hit it with the green. Okay. Right. No pressure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amazing shot. Oh, thank you. Yes. Good shot. Good shot. Fell out of it a little bit, but we didn't hit anybody. Oh. <laughs> I mean, come on, look at how beautiful this view is. Okay, so we're on Hope Green, but it is a public parkway as well, and they have a tram to take you down to like the beach area, which is pretty cool. All that to say, there were quite a few people watching that tee shot. And to make it even more nerve-wracking, on the right side of the hole, Common Kings was setting up to do a concert. They had played in the tournament as well and just wrapped up their round, and then they were setting up for a concert during our dinner. I was so excited to see them perform, and I definitely didn't want to make a negative first impression by hitting a ball into their sound equipment. But thankfully, my ball is right in the middle of the fairway, and we had another great look at the green. Look at these views. So right over here is where the band's going to be playing tonight. Common Kings is here playing golf, and then we're going to be um, enjoying the concert afterwards. It's super cool. I have to say that this course made the list of the best courses I've ever played. I mean, how can you blame me? These views are immaculate. I of course took several photos and drone shots, and you can find those on my website or on Instagram and Facebook with links below. Here's the final 100 yard walk up to the pen and the final putt of the day. But the night is not over yet. It was time to watch the sunset, eat some dinner, and enjoy music by Common Kings. As if the view and the music wasn't enough, there's even a dolphin sighting. This was the perfect evening to an even perfect day, and I'll never forget my time at Monarch Beach Golf Links. Okay, so we just wrapped up the concert and it's dark out and I'm finding my way back, but thankfully Jackie's in front of me and she has a light and she knows the course really well. So I'm keeping my eyes on the road though because I don't want to crash into anything. Uh, pretty amazing night all around. Fantastic, gorgeous views. I've never been to a concert like that on the coast. Common Kings did an excellent job. Um, all around fantastic experience. And I will definitely be back to Monarch Beach.